when you draw the curve with Photoshop's help. So for some curve like this, I'd be using the elliptical marquee. And then I'll use the edit stroke and I'll set it to about the same width that my, my pen was using. So two pixels and I hit okay and I'll deselect. And now what I've got here is a little oval that's a line. So since it's not in quite the exact right perspective, I'll use control T or free transform to move it into the right perspective and confirm and then erase away what I don't want. And then I go back to the line art layer, the one half of the triangle, and I erase away where I don't need that. And once I'm happy with all these, I'll just flatten them together. And what I'm left with is my nice clean lines. So to get a handle on some of the scenarios that will come up while you're doing line work, I've created this simple worksheet. So I'm going to do a few of the examples, and then I'm going to put it up on the blog so you guys can try the rest. So you've already seen me doing straight edges, and those are easy. Click, shift, click. Gives you nice straight lines. So that works for the triangle as well. These ovals are good because they're slightly off axis, which means I can't select them perfectly with the elliptical marquee. So I'll get them close and then free transform them into place. Make a new layer. Maybe I'll stroke this one with three pixels so you can see it a little better. Okay, and so on. Now some of these have two different parts. They have both a straight edge, but they also have an oval edge. So I'd make them in two separate layers and then erase away what I don't need and then flatten them down to be a single layer. So this is a great opportunity to use the pen tool. Now I'll only use this on the especially tricky ones but it's good because it has both straight edges as well as curved edges. Now this is really just a case of practicing using the pen tool, but I'll use my action to turn it into a selection and then stroke it. And there you go. So in this case, I have sort of the edge of an ellipse plus some straight lines. So maybe I'll make the straight lines first and then drag an ellipse template there, stroke it, deselect and erase away what I don't need. So I'm always keeping an eye out for what would be the quickest way to sort of build these shapes based on a combination of straight edges, the ellipse tool, and occasionally the pen tool. So give the rest of these a try and hopefully you'll get a better sense for how to sort of construct your line work. Have fun.